as we're underway in week 13. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Got a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Time to see what this Tampa Bay Bucks offense has in store. They're led by the now seven-time Super Bowl champion, the MVP of Super Bowl 55, Charles. It's Tom Brady. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season, and maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year, and with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Bearing this one out for Evans. And in the seven yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Bucs on just two plays have taken the lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And it's now a 7-0 game. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off the play fake. Ryan. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And this is incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion, set up another passing down here on third and long. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. That's pulled in at the 32. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Boy, they've definitely come out of the gate smoking here in the first quarter. Whatever they've tried to run has worked. And there's another example right there. Game plan is one thing, but how about his accuracy? It's been exceptional. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Bucks have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. It's not much. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point put through by Suckup, and it's now 14 to nothing. The following 
looking to touchdown now. It's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves out that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Well, this defense for the Bucs, they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot? it up lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it they were already within a shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense sudden change sudden change that's not what you want to hear on your sideline that means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away fair catch signal four and taken just shy of the 30 yard line they'll call that a punt of 59 yards tough to do better than that and possession will switch hands first and ten the bucks offense set to begin their next possession now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they rocked it really well. Yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking downfield for Godwin. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Throwing is Brady on third down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Falcons say they have it. They do. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of the quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. On second down now. It's Patterson, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Cordero Patterson hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And they cut the lead down to a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead, you've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Play action, now it's Brady. This is caught by Evans. Takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Pretty good yards after the catch there on that crossing route. Is a crossing route good for a quarterback because of receiver? And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead.
Extra point up and good by Sucker. And it's now 21 to 7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. Last week, a strong showing up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little... Puts it on the carpet, it's out, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. Fournette fighting through. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's how you pick up a first down. You know where the sticks are. You know where the first down marker is. And you find a way to get there. That's called having vision. He had a lot of vision last week. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Extra point put through by Suckham. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. 